woke up to a pack of uh, coyotes just going crazy. It's pretty, pretty fun to listen to. Right here on the border, we must be less than a kilometer from the Mexican border right now. Well, you know, as soon as I get my microphone out, all the coyotes quiet up. Isn't that just always how it works? But uh, had some good breakfast here. We're gonna head out. We're gonna hit the road, make our way over to Castle. Oh. Yeah, in Ontario. Oh. Oh. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh. Thanks. How Anyways, yeah, we had some good breakfast. We uh, just relaxed this morning a little bit, and we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go check out some uh, silver mines. But two hours of driving. Let's do this. So I thought to myself, hey babe, how's about we go slow? At least inside it seems I'm terrified of this road. Oh, but outside already it's all sinking in. Caught up in a landslide, but I don't want to be friends. I wish it could be cooler, calm, collected, and chill. Maybe then I'd get a chance to see all the different sides of you Shine out and blossom over the flower for fields Stretching out to the edge, grown wild, beautiful and surreal Say, far as I, I can see the boat is on crazy Say I do wrong in the eyes of you, girl. Over a man's size, despite such a brevity, I'm only lies by the simple thought it help me feel true. You're about. Don't forget the bosey on through the underground mine. And of course, there's the gift shop. So this is Castle Dome City which isn't really a city. Actually, all of these were individual shacks all up on the mountains here where they mined silver. And they mined silver that was mixed in with lead. They would mine this stuff and when the mines all dried up, they left all these artifacts all over the mountains. They decided to bring it all down here, turn it into a bit of a tourist attraction. It's cool, we get to get a really compressed idea of uh, what the gold rush, or in this case, silver rush, would have looked like. Something good, but get it more than I bargained for. Let's savor this moment, let it be the last one. Suffering the best single nightmare I've ever had. Torn piece from piece at a time, why can't I just be glad for what I have? Hope this goes according to plan. <laughs>
Welcome to Lake Havasu. We're gonna take a quick dip here in the freezing cold waters of the lake, chill out for a while and uh, do some work maybe at the local Starbucks and then we're gonna go up the street a bit and go to a campsite. That's the plan for the evening. Let's do this. I want to realize how to defy all these notions left by try time work on outside California. <laughs> there it is, I was waiting for that. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on, Mark, why don't you dunk yourself? Because this reminds me of Canada. <laughs> this reminds you too much of Canada, eh? Yeah. <laughs> My legs feel like waiting for the bus. Come on, this is like... Yeah, this is like standing outside in Canada. This is how cold it is. Yeah. Your, uh, your legs are going to be as red as your arms are. Uh, yep. Can't take you anymore. Chip, you're disgusting. Oh! Oh! You're disgusting. Oh. All right, we're at our campground now. This is the same BLM spot that I uh, went with to with Sam a while back at uh, Lake Havasu. It's just up like past the airport, just north of the airport. It's really nice. It's free, you just gotta check in with the camp host and they're really nice folks. So I love this spot. It's like one of my favorite campsites because you're surrounded by all these cool mountains and stuff, which you will definitely see in the time lapse. For, for now, I'm gonna make some dinner. We're gonna have, get this, charboiled steak with some asparagus and fresh carrots today oh a little bit of chopped potato dining like kings today and uh all out in the wild it's pretty awesome staring up into the crowd makeshift people Shift me. 